The Nobles ODR Natural Overdrive Mini. Is it any good? Standard Blues Solo Single Coil. Standard Blues Solo Humbucker. My name's Stu and if you're new to the channel, as always, I recommend you go to my channel playlist and start at video number one and this will give you context to my music gear journey. Now, in previous videos I tested the MXR Timmy Overdrive and the Ibanez Tube Screamer and if you missed those, do check them out. And I'll also be unboxing and reviewing a number of amplifiers with built-in valve overdrive crunchy tones a multi-effects unit with variable overdrive distortion tones, computer software overdrive effects, and in an upcoming video, I'll place them all side by side, and I'll give my reasons for why I chose those particular products, and those I actually use in the recording studio. Once again, it's all been a, a journey for me after a 40-year break, and the fun of rediscovering what, if any, real changes there have been when choosing overdrive effects in 2023. So when this particular unit arrived, it came in this sturdy little green box and it contained the pedal, little stick on strips for feet and a quick start guide with some very useful presets, which we'll check out in a little while, a bit further on in the video. Nobles was originally established in Hamburg, Germany in 1983, and they are well known for their build quality. The Nobles ODR Natural Overdrive Mini comes in this bright green finish, as you can see, and it does require a 9-volt adapter or a suitable power supply. And you can see my review on the Cheox power supply on my pedal board video. There are three small control knobs, Spectrum. Now this changes the deep, mid and treble frequencies. You have Drive, and this sets the tone from light crunch to full overdrive and you have level, and that adjusts the volume. And of course, you have the actual foot switch, on and off, and the input-output quarter-inch jack sockets. And once again, uh, this pedal is very sturdy in construction. Now, I will, at the end of all the control knob tests, put this single-coil Fender Telecaster next to a guitar with the humbucking pickups, so you get to hear clearly the differences that this will make. Now, it's worth noting, uh, if you set this little amplifier to overdrive a little, it does lend itself to the different pedal settings for increased crunch and sustain. So to start, the actual pedal controls. On the instruction guide, we have some suggested presets by Nobles itself. So let's go ahead and hear how they sound first uh, with this Telecaster. Now, because I'm using my Telecaster, I do like to add my MXR Dynacomp compressor pedal, as I find it just smooths out any uneven tones that can be quite shrill on this type of guitar model. And um, that's my taste anyway. So here's uh, the first preset on that list. Crunchy Blues. Standard Blues. Standard Blues Solo. Hard Rock Rhythm.
Hard Rock Solo Sound. <laughs> And now I'll do a quick side-by-side -side test as we go from single coil to humbucker. Single coil. Humbucker. Crunchy Blues, Single Coil. Crunchy Blues, Humbucker. Standard Blues, Single Coil. Standard Blues, Humbucker. Standard Blues Solo, Single Coil. Standard Blues Solo, Humbucker. Hard Rock Rhythm, Single Coil. Hard Rock Rhythm, Humbucker. Hard Rock Solo Sound, Single Coil. Hard Rock Solo Sound, Humbucker. Now, while you can obviously dial in your own pedal settings, the suggested presets are certainly really a great starting point. I really like them. And once again, it's important to bear in mind the different results when using various pickups, amplifier choices, and of course, the type of music that you're playing. An adjustment being needed when playing uh, live performances or within a recording environment. So there you have it. What do I think? Well, if you're interested, you can check out my previous drive pedal videos in regard to what I've said about my love-hate relationship with overdrive and distortion pedals when playing back in the 1970s. And uh, in regard to this Nobles ODR overdrive for me, it's a really nice pedal to use. Uh, and as the name implies, it does have a natural sounding overdrive tone, which uh, I find uh, very nice indeed. However, 
I don't use it stacked with other dry pedals and that's because it appears to create more floor noise or hum which uh, while actually playing the guitar you don't notice but once you stop it's loud and in a live performance uh, at high volumes that would certainly need to be controlled but uh, I find in a recording environment uh, it's just uh, too much and so I don't use it stacked with any other dry pedals and frankly for my tastes where I would use this pedal I actually don't stack it with any other pedal because I don't think it needs it. Now in regard to the hum I did consider that perhaps I had a faulty pedal but uh, I have heard from others who have mentioned this as well so until I understand the situation better I just rearrange my small pedal board depending on what sound I'm looking for that day. So it's without doubt very well made and it feels like it's built to last. It has a good range of overdrive tones. Uh, it's not too harsh, uh, which I, I find can be a problem with these type of effects. Uh, the ODR definitely has a tone all of its own and it's certainly uh, got many professional musicians that speak highly of it. Once again, uh, nobody paid me to review this product and in the next video uh, we do some more unboxing so do stay tuned. Please do subscribe, hit the bell to get notifications, like, share and so on because it really does help the algorithms for the channel. And once again do check out my channel playlist where you'll find my guitar video series which covers my journey back to playing and recording guitar and after a 40 year break it's been quite a journey. So lots of stuff on guitars, amplifiers, pedals and uh, my ongoing recording journey. Please do uh, share uh, your own experiences below, whether a newcomer, an ongoing player, or like me, an old hand returning to, uh, to guitar playing and enjoying it. So thank you to those who do take time to comment or chat. I'll always take time to engage with folks who take time to comment. So until next time, the journey continues. So do take care. Mm -hmm.